All right, guys, Jaxel here. Um, as some of you know, I've been working the past couple of days on integrating Discord into my website. And I wasn't planning on releasing the app publicly, but I've been receiving a lot of PMs from people asking me to do it. So this is my uh, version of it. I've tried to keep it as simple as possible. I've seen some other solutions. They're a bit more complicated, but they actually are better solutions than mine. They're a lot more complete, and they give a lot more uh, functionality uh, controlling uh, Discord settings through Zenforo instead of just through the Discord app. Uh, my version is meant to kept, keep it simple. I try not to replicate any controls, any Discord controls uh, into Zenforo because I just don't see the need for that. Anyways, uh, after you've installed the integration app, or add-on for that matter, you go to the options, you come to this screen, and right now you can see it's pretty blank. Uh, Discord, client ID, secrets, tokens, servers, everything. In fact, a lot of the options aren't even available. Servers will be available after you've assigned your bot a token. Roles will be available after you've assigned your bot to a guild. Webhooks will be available after you've created them with your guild. So you can't even edit those settings yet. Before that, you need to go to the first option, Discord client ID, and see the description. It says, to use this add-on, you must register a Discord application. That's simple. We're going to click that link. And if you're not logged into Discord, you don't have an account, it'll ask you to log in or create one. Uh, then you're going to click New App. And it'll you'll come to this New App screen. It'll ask for the name of your app, um, uh, some redirects, an app description, and an app icon, and then you'll create it. Now, I've already done that. Mine's called 8-Way Run. It's right here. Um, so I named it 8-Way Run. Uh, I added some redirect URIs. The redirect URIs you can actually see right here. You must add the following redirect URIs to your Discord application. Uh, that's it. Now, these uh, URLs are going to be different for every um, for every website you use, but, you know, they'll be there for you. All right, so we've created our app, got my description, got my uh, icon. Basically, this is everything that's going to be right here. And it'll add some stuff to the top. App details will be your client ID. Just copy that, place that there. Client secret. Now you're going to click click to reveal. And there you go. Gonna copy that into the client secret section. Uh, then you're going to have the option to create a bot. You're going to want to create a bot because the bot is how, how the app actually integrates with... Uh, with your server. Now, normally you would think, why can't I just use the client ID and the secret? Because, you know, you have individual servers and the bot tells uh, tells your website which server to react to. All right, and we're going to take that token and put it right in there. There we go. Got those three filled out. Going to click Save Changes. And now we have this button's become available. Server ID, assign your Discord bot to a guild. Now, before that, you're going to have to be uh, in uh, an admin in some servers, guilds. I happen to be an admin on two. Uh, so if you've never created one before, you're going to want to create a server. And your server is going to have a whole bunch of options you can set. You can go over this whenever you want. Um, you're going to want a few roles. We'll get into, you're definitely going to want to click Enable Widget. That is pretty much, I don't know why you wouldn't want this enabled. I don't know why there's an option to disable it or why it's not enabled in the first place. You will want to enable this widget. Uh, webhooks we'll get into later. Everything else is just stuff you can set on your own. So once you've uh, created your own guild, you're going to click Assign Your Bot to a Guild. And it's going to bring me to the screen where it's asking what server I want to assign my bot to. Now, as I said before, I am an admin on two different guilds, servers. Guilds and servers are the same thing. Um, in which case, I want to assign it to the one for my website, which is 8 It needs administrator permission. And I'm going to click Authorize. Once I do that, it'll return me back to the screen. It's got the server IDs here. It's automatically fetched all the roles from my server. So if we uh, go back to uh, my server, go to server settings, and look at roles, uh, it cannot actually edit the eight-way run role or the at everyone role. These roles 
uh, are assigned by bots and you know the catch-all role. So they're not going to be on this list. So you can see I have four roles right here. And what server roles here, this option is going to do, is it's going to say on a one-to-one -one ratio, I'm going to set it so that anyone who is in the administrative user group on Zenforo is going to automatically be placed in the administrative role in uh, Discord. I'm going to do the same thing for my super moderator group. So all super moderators are going to be automatically placed in the moderating role on my server. Premium members will be premium members. So they'll get a nice blue username. And registered is simple because I want people to register to link their accounts to uh, our Discord server. Uh, webhooks, uh, I'll get back to that in a moment. All right, so we got these uh, four roles assigned. Like I said, they're a one-to-one -one ratio. I know people would like, hey, I have multiple user groups and I want to assign uh, multiple user groups, groups to a single role. No, I'm just doing it one-to-one. -one. I'm trying to keep it simple and on as few pages as possible. If I want to do it, if you want to do it the other way, you'd have to set up a whole bunch of extra shit. I'm not interested in doing that, so it's not going to happen. Anyways, I want to enforce bans and I want to enforce nicknames so people who link their accounts, their names will match what they've got there. And people are posting anyways. All right, so... Already, pretty much you're done at that point. Uh, webhooks are completely optional. Uh, let's go back to my website. And uh, this add-on added a chat tab. Now, this chat tab, um, you're going to want to edit this page. So we have go to Appearance, Templates, Discord, Discord Index. Now, Discord Index is literally <laughs> the contents of this page now I, I would make a better looking page for the chat screen but you really can't because discord does uh, not yet yeah, discord does not allow embedding of chat rooms on your websites yet hopefully they'll do it in the future so for now we have this index page you're going to want to edit it because the link here click to join our discord server is going to my server and uh, you don't want that it's simple you're gonna go uh invite people set a link to never expire and then just copy the text and replace the link there you can replace any other text you want as well but you know you're going to want to edit this page because it's not going to match your server all right like i said hopefully it'll, it'll be better in the future okay so at this point, you're pretty much done. Your website is integrated with Discord. It couldn't be easier than that. Um, we do have some additional options, though, mainly with webhooks. Webhooks is the ability for a bot to post uh, text to your channels. So we have webhooks here. Um, I have a webhook already set up. It's named 8-Way Run, and it posts to the forum activity channel. Uh, let's create a new webhook. It's going to name it SpideyBot. It's going to post to the general channel. And let's click Save on that. And now let's refresh this page. And we have our webhooks at the bottom. Now, our, there are three webhooks set up already. Maybe in the future I'll set up more. The first is on threads. Whenever a new thread is created or a moderated thread is um is uh, set to visible, it's going to post to the selected webhook. Um, now I can have it post to SpideyBot, and as we set here, SpideyBot posts to the general channel, but I don't want that. I want it to post to my eight way run bot, which says it's going to post to forum activity. So anytime anyone makes a new thread, it's going to automatically post it to the forum activity text channel, which you can see here. Jackson just posted a new thread. This is a test webhook. Gladden posted a new thread, blah, blah, blah. This thread is stupid. Let's not read more. Uh, Zencarta, I have the same thing. Now, if you don't have Zencarta installed, this isn't going to do anything. Uh, I want Zencarta to install uh, to post to the same channel. So Jackson just updated the wiki ZZ test. Um, then also Zen Medio. Anytime someone posts in the media, it'll also post to it. I want all my forum activity to go to the same webhook, so I'm just going to set them all the same. 
And, you know, because of that, we know we don't need this other webhook. So let's uh, delete it. And that's gone. And, you know, it's really simple. Um, well, it, I, I set it up. So I made it. I programmed it so it would be simple to use. Uh, I actually did learn a lot of new things programming uh, the integration with Discord. A lot of things I didn't know beforehand. Um, so, you know, it was complicated for me in the back end. But for you guys, try to keep it simple. And it's basically just a single set page of settings. I hope you enjoy. If you uh, need more options, let me know, and I'll look into getting them set up. Anyways, peace out.